Ranak everybody. We continue talking about ANSYS and we talk about ANSYS workbench introduction course and today we talk about third uh, lecture, third presentation. It's all be about component system. It's a uh, object which you can add to a workbench uh, to project schematic which are general purpose. So, uh, as we say previously on a previous video, uh, we have toolbox which contain a lot of different uh, tools and uh, objects which you can use for creating your project schematic, your design investigation pipeline. So, if you want to create schema in which you explain how do you will uh, do different type of simulation and how those simulation are connected one to each other uh, you can use those toolbox and all tools that present in those toolbox and there are several collection it's analysis system it's component system and some others the most commonly used is analysis system and component system. About analysis system we talk in a previous video. And uh, this is a list of objects that are already uh, ready to do some simulation. Uh, for example, if we take a static structural object, it will create something like that. And this object contain different uh, stages and different sub object. Sorry. And uh, uh, this sub object can be found here on a component system. So uh, let's talk more uh, detailed. This is example of a uh, solution object. Don't touch the keyboard, sorry. <laughs> My assistant Fluffy try to help, but do it in interesting way. So, uh, this is our uh, object on a project schematic and uh, on a different stage we can uh, start different type of application. So in some uh, stages, we can uh, start several type of application. For example, in geometry, we will talk about this later. And uh, the same stages on different uh, type of analysis can start different application. For example, for static structural. Uh, stage from model to result start ANSYS mechanical for CFD uh, stage model will start uh, ANSYS mechanical uh, and stage setup solution and result will start uh, CFX uh, pre CFX solver and CFX post so let's talk more about uh, objects in component system uh, here a picture how it look on my computer. This is full list of all uh, objects from collection of component system and uh, the white it's an object that present with my license on my computer and uh, brown or orange it's a, a object that are absent and not present in my computer in reason of license. So, uh, in your case, it can be look with some differences. And we uh, would talk about all these uh, objects, all those applications. So, uh, we talk about some collections. And first collection about uh, First collection, collections that we explain, it's a collection uh, for working with geometry and mesh. 
There are uh, two objects uh, on custom systems, uh, on component systems, sorry. Uh, it's a uh, object geometry and it's an object discovery. Uh, both of them work with geometry, but uh, geometry is more general and discovery is more concrete. We will talk about it later. Also, we have a lot of uh, variants for creating mesh. The most commonly used is mechanical model and mesh. Uh, the old one, which called Finite Element Modeler, are now unsupported, but you can uh, find it on a previous version of uh, ANSYS. And this model uh, gives possibility to create mesh and to edit mesh. Uh, even by hand. Uh, like merging elements, like uh, moving nodes and so on. Mechanical model and uh, mesh, it use uh, in both case the one application which called ANSYS Mechanical, but with some differences. And we talk about them later. And that's explain why mechanical model have engineering data and uh, mesh doesn't have them. So, uh, geometry, geometry object. It's the most general object to work with geometry and in most cases you can uh, use it for creating three type of uh, geometry to start three type of application. It's a space claim, design modeler and uh, discovery. Uh, also you can import any kind of geometry from any type of uh, CAD software that uh, have interface and integration with uh, ANSYS and where you have license. Also, you can import uh, geometry uh, natively, not only from a uh, CAD format, but natively and directly from CD, currently from CAD, uh, CAD system. Uh, for example, you can import from SOLIDWORKS or from Enix, from Creo. We uh, show this moment on the previous videos. So, um, there are a lot of different possibilities to create or open or edit geometry. And if you uh, import geometry, you doesn't use those three application you import directly in Workbench, directly in ANSYS Mechanical. Uh, but if you try to open this geometry, not with ANSYS Mechanical, but with uh, some of this application, you will use those application for editing, for open and so on, for working with the geometry. Else, you can import not only native CAD geometry, but uh, geometry which is stored uh, in uh, natural file formats like uh, STEP, IGES, uh, Parasolid, ACES, SAT, uh, DXF, STL, and some others. So, uh, this is most general. And uh, when you open different object, you can see something like that. This is ANSYS Discovery and this is Design Modeler. That's a very different software which work in a different way. For example, this is parametric uh, model uh, modeling uh, CAD with uh, uh, history and uh, here will be present history of editing of your model. Uh, it I don't want to say dump, so I say it's uh, like an old school, like a very old uh, CAD system. Uh, this is more. Um, modern software. 
it use the same uh, principles of editing as a space claim. So there are some interesting differences. If we try to compassion uh, all this uh, CAD system, uh, space claim, uh, look closer for first sight uh, into discovery, uh, into sorry, design modeler. Uh, but it uses very different uh, type of works. It uh, have very different workflow and so on. This workflow, these uh, methods of working are very similar to discovery. But uh, ANSYS discovery uses the same kernel as uh, design modeler. It's a uh, parasolid, Siemens parasolid. And uh, space claim use uh, ACES kernel. So <laughs> uh, those uh, CAD system from ANSYS has some differences and uh, some uh, similarities, and it's very difficult to explain uh, how they. <laughs> differ and the same so we would show how those products look like how to work in them uh, and do it uh, later on a course of ANSYS CAD system okay um, uh, mesh this is mechanical model this is mesh and as you see here, we see mechanical ANSYS mechanical enterprise, and here we see CFD pre post CFD base. Uh, we see that both of them are very similar, and this is one application, but with differences in preferences. Uh, this one can create any type of mesh for any type of ANSYS application. Uh, it can be created for structural tasks, for thermal tasks, for electromagnetic tasks, for uh, CFD tasks. And uh, that's why he have additional uh, stage about engineering data. Because for most of them, for example, for structural, for uh, thermal, uh, he needs to have material data that uh, applied and created in engineering uh, data stage. Uh, this one can create mesh only for CFD. It looks very similar, but in fact it's a different mesh. Uh, and uh, in reasons that we create and apply materials information in CFD prayer so we doesn't have here an engineering data but methods of working in this boss application in this boss uh, object are the same reason only one this one create can create mesh for any kind of application. Uh, this one can create mesh only for CFD. Okay. Uh, there are additional uh, object, additional application which can work with geometry and with uh, mesh. It's ASM CFD application. It's very old and very cool application with uh, big history. And when you add this object to uh, your project, it will open this application, which look something like that. It has uh, their own uh, number of tools and features. It can uh, import uh, geometry from different uh, type of software. Uh, it can create uh, geometry from scratch but it's not very comfortable so much more useful to create geometry in uh, your uh, CAD that you know better or in ANSYS CAD system 
And uh, when geometry came here, you can uh, do some changes. You can uh, slice those geometry into the blocks and can create a very um, cool mesh with um, uh, connection to geometry uh, with updating this mesh when update when you will update uh, those geometry and uh, this mesh can be not only tetrahedral but with bricks and with uh, very very um, <laughs> good quality mesh so uh, this is pre and post processor for a lot of different uh, Kai system. For example, you can uh, use this mesh with Ansys, with Nastron, with Abacus, with LS Dyna and many other products. So it's fully uh, a full application for pre and post processing. But it's not very modern, it's not very user friendly. So in most cases, uh, ISM CFD used by old type of users, which know how this uh, application work. But uh, some features from ISM CFD implemented into Ansys Workbench and Ansys Mechanical into mesh creating process, and uh, that's very cool because. It's a uh, simplified process of creating mesh and simplify process of creating mesh with good quality. Uh, something like that. And uh, in reason that we can work with a lot of different uh, CIE software, we can import and export mesh in a lot of different formats. So use it if it will be useful for you but it's something like complex for uh, new users okay uh, the next collection is external data external resources there are three type of external uh, data that can we can import into our project it's external data it's external model mesh model and it's office excel uh, external data can import uh, text format uh, csv excel format data and uh, you can use those data for uh, importing loads importing temperature import importing results and many other different uh, things that you may be a need in your simulation external model it's uh, try uh, its possibility to import a mesh from other uh, CIE system from uh, Nastran like here from Evacus from LS Dyna from uh, Hypermesh from from a lot of different software uh, so you can import you can create assembly of this mesh and so on you can uh, do some changes for example uh, move and rotate this mesh for better assembling and so on uh, office excel it's something like uh, external data but with uh, office excel <laughs> So, let's talk about engineering data and materials. Uh, the new collection contains three uh, objects. It's uh, engineering data. It's most commonly used uh, object and it, this object present in all uh, version of ANSYS Mechanical through now, uh, ANSYS Workbench. Uh, from 12 to 20, 22 R2 
uh, and engineering data look like this uh, we have uh, several tabs uh, on uh, some on this tab we see the list of uh, material that we have in uh, our project in our uh, simulation object in our this engineering data stage uh, in different uh, object simulating object engineering data can have different list because it's different stage of different analysis so we can have a very big list of different uh, materials and uh, sometimes we can uh, set here even one material but with different type of uh, describing of a uh, behavior for example linear and non-linear uh, bilinear and multilinear uh, and so on uh, and you can check how it will be um, how it affect your simulation for example uh, so this is list and if this material was taken from database it has uh, some information about what is it uh, here you can found a bunch of uh, material database uh, where you can find a lot of different materials uh, this is a uh, property for selected materials for example now it's for uh, 316 stainless steel it's bilinear model it's uh, temperature dependent uh, it have temperature dependent uh, characteristic mechanicals uh, all mechanicals characteristics, uh, model of elasticity, yield strengths, uh, tangent modulus, and so on. Also, you can use those toolbox with a collection of all material uh, properties to add some of these material properties to your selected material and to edit them. Okay, this is engineering data and uh, the more new variant it's a uh, uh, take material from grant database. It's much more uh, informative. It have much more materials uh, and it help to integrate material information about materials uh, all information about materials for all uh, stages of development products for all uh, people who are in charge for engineers for material experts for suppliers for manufacturers and so on it's a very big database and uh, you can select my, uh, data from this database but you also can create your own materials with a lot of different type of information um, from mechanical properties to costing and where to buy those materials uh, okay uh, it's a big uh, product I doesn't have license for it so sorry <laughs> that's all information that I can say about uh, grant uh, MI uh, and uh, the second one it's a grant selector I also doesn't have uh, license so uh, I will say that it's a material uh, database uh, which have very cool stuff for searching uh, materials for example you want to search materials with um, 
with yield strength from uh, 500 to 800 megapascals. And uh, you can find those materials. You can do some simple uh, calculation. For example, here we see cantilever uh, beam uh, with uh, those materials and see some interesting result. So, grant a selector and grant me, it's very cool data. And after we work with both of them, we give information uh, of materials, about materials, into engineering data, and we can use uh, information from this stage of engineering data into any type of our structural analysis. So, uh, ANSYS Composite Pre-Post or ACP, uh, two model for pre-processing and for post-processing. Composite is very general term and for example a concrete beam with a steel rebar it's also composite. Wood it's also composite but uh, natural. Uh, the wall which was created from number of bricks it's also composite. Uh, if we uh, want to work with uh, Damask steel, it's also composite. But in most case, when uh, people and when engineers uh, say term composite, it means uh, fiberglass materials. It means about uh, different type of fibers, uh, different type of fabric materials, um, like an... Uh, sorry, uh, I have some pause and breakdown with English. Sorry, my English is not so good, so sometimes I have problem. Um, carbon fiber material uh, uh, it has a lot of uh, layers uh, these layers have different orientation uh, any layers can have different uh, properties different uh, section of uh, fiber uh, different um, different type of fiber. Uh, it can uh, have different thickness and a lot of other things. And uh, all this information we can explain on ACP pre. Pre, ANSYS Composite Pre Processor. Uh, this how this Pre Processor look like, and uh, it's as you see another application. We can do some uh, things from this application in ANSYS Mechanical, but ACP Pre is much more. Uh, featured and much more powerful software, but for much more experienced people. And uh, uh, sorry, ACP post processor. It's uh, uh, also very interesting application for post processing result because there are a lot of different type of uh, analysis of robustness. Uh, there are a lot of different type of uh, crushes for uh, composite materials and uh, the general ANSYS mechanical product can't show you all features and all powers. So you need additional product. 
if you work with such type of composites. Uh, after then, it's a, a very, very powerful software for creating uh, analysis from explicit dynamics with uh, big non-linearities, with uh, very high speed of process, with very short uh, period of those process. Uh, for example, here you can see a, a blast wave and a building. And you can see uh, not only how this blast uh, initiated and go through uh, your construction, but how uh, construction will affect blast wave and how blast wave affect construction and how they work together, even if they broke. Uh, you can import uh, mesh from different uh, software uh, you can import uh, match from SMCFD, from TrueGrid, from Nostrand, from LSDyna. It can have some problem with importing those data because after Dyna it's another product and have some differences in behavior. But you can import those uh, meshes and uh, try to do uh, simulation. Uh, also, you can uh, open with analysis stage a result of uh, calculation with uh, object from analysis system which called uh, explicit dynamics. So, after that, it's very, very cool uh, application uh, for big number of uh, different process explosion uh, penetration of bullets for example forming uh, cutting and so on uh, okay the next one is cfx and as we say previously for example when we create uh, such type of analysis like um, a fluid dynamics cfx uh, it have geometry and those type of stages and any stage uh, start different type of application cfx setup start a cfx preprocessor it's very dumb thing with those names and uh, the names in st in stage in uh, those object are different from these names especially for mechanical and so on but uh, it have some logic and we will talk about this later so if you create a, a fluid dynamics object you have the one object and you have geometry which you create on one stage mesh you create another stage and so on if you create cfx object you can uh, connect it to other object and take mesh from those object but you can also import mesh directly in those application you can apply different boundary conditions uh, apply any uh, preferences to this analysis and then you came to solution punct uh, cfx solution and it's a cfx solar it looked like this for starting analysis it looked like this it's a convergence graph uh, during the solution uh when it's end you will see 
Here you can select number of processor you will uh, use for calculation and some other uh, preferences. And uh, CFIX POST will use it on stage of CFIX result. And you can post processor, you can visualize, uh, vis visualize sorry, all result of your calculation, not only from um, CFIX, but in most case it's more useful for CFIX uh, calculations. And you can show uh, section, you can uh, see contours, you can see uh, distribution of pressure, you can see vectors, you can see streamlines, uh, you can do animations and a lot of other things. So uh, it's a very cool uh, way to analyze and to work with your result. Uh, Fluent, it's also CFD product, as we said previously, and it has uh, three type of object, additional to flu uh, fluid object in analysis system. So we have Fluent object, we have Fluent with CFD post, and we have Fluent with Fluent meshing. This one will take uh, meshes which we can import from different stages. Uh, this one also would uh, import mesh from other uh, object or directly in this stage, but for uh, creating setup for preprocessing you used uh, uh, data from CFX and you can use CFD post as uh, application for uh, obtaining result and now it's in better. Maybe later it would be, would be, would be not better, but uh, original. Uh, this one, as we say previously, uh, can import mesh from other object and use a fluent new interface for setup and for solution and doesn't have any a possibility to uh, work with result. We need to use additional object for analyzing result. This one, as you see, contain CFD post. Both of them are very similar, but this one contains CFD post. And this uh, object uh, use Fluent Mesh for creating Mesh Use Fluent uh, new interface for creating uh, setup and solution uh, This is how Fluent new interface look like uh, When you start setup you firstly see uh, something like that and create some preferences Then you see those one And you see place for setup place for solution and place for working with result. And uh, this one is Fluent result visualization. So something like that. Uh, yep, and you doesn't see here a uh, possibility of mesh, you only can import mesh. And this one, as you see, it's uh, additional application which look very similar to Fluent new interface and uh, it's uh, uh, application for creating mesh and you can create here very interesting type of mesh, for example, polyhedral mesh. 
uh, which you can't create in uh, ANSYS Mechanical, in ANSYS Meshing. So, uh, Forza. It's very interesting application, which now have uh, interface its own. It have some similarities with Fluent. Uh, and uh, this product um, oriented uh, on uh, solving task for uh, engines with internal combustions. A lot of different uh, type of tasks and uh, if you will try to do this calculation in general in CFX or in Fluent, uh, you will spend much more time and much more efforts uh, for, this, for this. Also, Fort has uh, additional type of materials that also can be used uh, useful for solving tasks or for internal engine internal combustion engine and so on. So if you are a specialist in designing internal combustion engine, please use Porter. Uh, okay. Result. It's additional object and it starts C fix post and you uh, can import result from some type of analysis, not from all in general, uh, from CFD analysis, uh, from CFX, from uh, Fluent, maybe from uh, Polyflow, I don't remember, sorry. Uh, with some effort you can also use this post processor for a different type of application, but it's not so simple so in most cases those results uh, will be helpful only with cfd calculations uh, also you have another application for post-processing result it's inside uh, it's very powerful and very complex software where you can create uh, blow minding uh, and amazing uh, pictures and animation because it's like a cinema 4d or 3, uh, 3d studio max or maya or i don't know key shot blender uh, but for engineers for work with result of calculations you can apply text here you can change uh, transparency of material depending on some uh, results you can uh, do lot of lot of different cool things and you can apply meshes and result from big number of software in inside here uh, you can see the list of it and it's ANSYS, Autodyne, Forte, Abacus, Fluent, Flow 3D, uh, from Inventor Calculation, from LSDyna, MC Mark Dytran, Nastran, OpenForm, Polyflow, Radius, Star CD, from uh, VTK, it's very uh, interesting format, and so on. Uh, it's very cool things. This one import the result from calculation from Forza. So, uh, inside by its own, also present in uh, ANSYS. Unfortunately, I doesn't have license uh, to work with them inside of Workbench, so I can show it. But 
something like that you can create and this is result of ls dyna uh, calculate calculation of car crash test and uh, this wall as you see have texture it's very complex to do something like that in other engineering product uh, in CIE products so it's very cool and also you can add graph and so and a lot of other things here to animate both of them uh, material designer it's look like space claim and it's space claim uh, but it's space claim with uh, some differences uh, this is application for creating a very complex uh, blocks of material if you have some material composite material if you need to work with um, micro structure of material not macro structure with wall object but with small parts of uh, material you can uh, have some problems and uh, material designer are for you it have some different uh, pre-described type of uh, material you can use it for create your own material you can apply uh, material characteristic to all these parts you can analyze uh, micro material characteristic as assembly object and you can export this uh, characteristic to uh, analyzing macro object uh, mechanical apdl also it called uh, like an ansys classic or ansys apdl uh, so it's old uh, and scary black interface uh, that can be start here editing mechanical PDL edit here you can send uh, mesh to this object or you can open a uh, scary interface black scary interface and you can uh, create geometry and mesh here you can import geometry or mesh here you can apply all type of uh, boundary condition preferences and so on you can also even do post-processing uh, but it uh, needs some efforts needs some knowledge uh, it's for old school user who knows that product but uh, it uh, sometimes can be very useful especially in combining of uh, new version of ansys mechanical not a pdl but ansys workbench mechanical uh, because uh, both of them have different uh, benefits and if you combine those benefits you can solve a lot of different uh, type of uh, calculation each ma in much more um, interesting way with uh, less spending of time with bigger speed and so on so mechanical pdl it's a cool product polyflow uh, as we say previously polyflow it's a, a special cfd for uh, solving some technological tasks for plastic uh, production for, 
for production plastic parts uh, with different technology injection molding blow molding extrusion it's not user friendly for example for injection molding here you can see preferences and uh, setups uh, and this is interface of poly flow so uh, it's very strange software but it can solve cool uh, things i don't know this product so we uh, stop here i know that this product can solve any kind of uh, simulation for producing plastic parts and that's all if you need uh, write a letter to channel partner on your country offensive channel partner partner and uh, talk with them i think they would help much better than i uh sherlock very very interesting uh, product which uh, some time ago was uh, accurate by ansys before that uh, it used uh, calculix for creating solution now it's fully in ansys it's very interesting product for creating uh, different analysis type for electronics uh, PCBs and electronic components for um, different type of analysis uh, for uh, deformation, for frequencies, for thermal as I remember, for fatigue and for crushing and broken of electronic components. So it can be uh, very useful for those people who uh, design electronic components which must work in very complex and aggressive uh, ways. Turbo grid. It's also a very interesting product. Uh, it's part of ANSYS CFX and it creates a full process, a full pipeline for designing any kind of turbo machine you can create 2d geometry you can uh, explore this 2d geometry for different type of turbo machines you can create 3d geometry by this 2d uh, you can create mesh automatically for those object and you can solve and you can uh, do analysis for that and system coupling it's a not type of application it's not type of mm, general object it's very interesting object it's amazing object for coupling different type of analysis for example if we have uh, needs to solve an uh, mm, iron oops oh <laughs> uh, for example if we need to invest uh, Calculate object, uh, structural object. We blow to this object. This blow uh, object are deformed, and uh, deformation of this object 
uh, change flow that blowing on this object and we need to find the situation when uh, these two different type of analysis for CFD and for uh, structural mechanics work as one as real object in real life we need to couple this solution there are a custom uh, object on a toolbox of uh, workbench and we can create a CFD, send result from CFD to uh, structural mechanics and uh, solve what problem would be with the structural object. But it's only in one way. It's only for constructions that have small deformation that not affect uh, fluid flow. If we have object that deformates in big manner, if we have this kind of deformation, it will have not the same fluid flow as this one. And in real life it would work not at this and not at this. It would work something like this one. Not this, this one, not this. And for do this calculation, we need to create coupling and explain how we need to send result from one solution to another and from another solution to first one. And when we need to stop. So this is system coupling. Uh, that's how it look. We have uh, transient structural. We have fluid flow with fluid. We have system coupling. Coupling. Uh, here we have a description of coupling type. Here we have a chart how it work. How many step uh, step it need to. Uh, Convergence and after that we can work with result in other model. So uh, for now we talk with uh, about all objects that I have with my license and we need to talk about some object that I doesn't have. Uh, Blade again. As previous, as this one, Turbo Grid, it's uh, one product. Unfortunately, I have license for one and doesn't have license for another. And this is 2D geometry of uh, space between uh, two blades. This is geometry of blade. It also 2D. Uh, we create another type for another type of uh, rotated machines, and we calculate uh, some regimes with this one. We can do some investigations with changing our. Uh, fluid flow, our speed of rotating and so on, and we can uh, explore how it affects uh, on quality and productiveness of our uh, rotated machine. And uh, there are some object in CFX, uh, there are some application that can be useful for different type of rotating machine. Vista AFD, Excel fan, CCD, centrifugal compression, 
uh, CCM compression map. It's for understanding how uh, different changes in uh, setup will affect result. Uh, CPD it's for centrifugal pump, RTD for radial fan and TF for turbo fan. Uh, and it work in some those way. Uh, Vista CCD give information for turbo setup and for blade gain. Both of them give information for turbo machinery fluid flow. Turbo machinery fluid flow can be used for uh, application turbo mesh and after using turbo mesh we use CFX with all data that we set here for uh, um, preferences speed of rotating, uh, type of uh, fluids, uh, temperature and so on. And after that we can obtain performance map for different type of uh, input and parameters. Something like that, it's a performance map. We set different uh, type of setups and we get different type of results and we can compassion uh, on the beginning of the design and on the end of the design. Ice pack, it's very interesting uh, application for creating a solution for mostly PCB and electronics component, but not only. Uh, as I know, uh, form cooling um, process. So we talk about all all type of uh, product. I hope it uh, be useful for you. And uh, if it's so, please give me thumbs up, write a comment, ask some question, and uh, you can help in creating video by uh, became a patron. All information is in description. Bye.